Hello everyone, Nigel here again. Um, this time with a, an inbox review of this old kit. Uh, it's the XB70 Valkyrie built by North American uh, around 1957 it was first envisaged. This kit was originally made by AMT in 1995 and now Italy have got the moulds and they've been producing it since. Um, it's not a great kit, the fit is bad, it's probably as bad if not worse than the Airfix Ravel Heller Concorde with 170 second scale which I'm also building. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to get these kits out now and again because we all love our Mengs and Takums and Tamiya kits that go together beautifully. But sometimes it's good to challenge your skills and, and get a decent fit and do some scribing and stuff. So that's where I am right now. So I've pulled this one out of the stash. It's a big old model. Uh, nearly 79 centimetres long. Um, if we look around the box here, it's kit number 1282. And we can see here that it says it's 78.6 centimetres long. Here's some of the history of the aircraft. Um, have a read, pause, whatever, all the different languages. I would seriously suggest, even if you're not going to build this kit, it's a fantastic aircraft with some great history. Um, look it up on YouTube. There's some really interesting videos um, to be seen about it. And... It is fascinating. I mean, the thing went Mach 3, for God's sake. It was incredible. There's some pictures on the back of the box there of it landing with its parachutes out when they're stood on hard standing, looking lovely. Very simple paint scheme as well. It's all white with um, with a black nose, although I did think I read or heard somewhere that it actually was built out of stainless steel. And on the first flight, the paint flaked off where it got so hot. So it would be very interesting to build one like that. It would be great for some hairspray techniques. Um, along the bottom here we can see there's some shots of the completed model sorry hitting the camera there one of the big benefits with this model is it is very big but if we look at where the landing gear doors are we can see the tricycle undercarriage falls in a very small area so standing this on top of a, a small glass cabinet would be easy you may have to move away from the wall a bit but um, yeah I mean displaying it wouldn't be so much of an issue it's not like a B-52 where you you've got the huge distance between the length of the undercarriage and then you've got the massive wingspan with the with the um, legs on the end of the wings there so yeah one of the benefits to this I, I suppose um, so looking inside I think it's quite funny there it says um, authorized by Boeing and actually Boeing in North America fought cat and dog for this contract in in, in the late 50s and um, North American won so obviously now North American part of um, part of Boeing so Instructions, very, very simple, just a fold out sheet. Um, I'll quickly just scan them like that so you can have a quick look. There's nothing spectacular about it, as you can see. Very, very, very simple construction. There is a, an aftermarket photo etch set for this from a company called Brendan, which I've ordered. I'm expecting it to come in the post today. Um, here you can see they've added tabs so you can have the ends of the wings in the down or the horizontal position. Um, in flight, it, high speeds at Mach 3 and stuff, they had to put the wings down to capture the air underneath the, as much air as they could underneath the wings to, to give it lift. Um, as I say, look at the videos on YouTube, it gives you all the technical explanations. Um, one of the interesting things about this kit as well, I don't know if it comes up here, you can see paint colour G here is stainless steel and the tyres are Sorry, G is the stainless steel for the wheels. The tyres are actually aluminium. The, the rubber was metallised. Otherwise it would have melted or something with the heat in the undercarriage bays. Incredible stuff. It's really, like I say, it's worth watching. Three bags of plastic. Um, all very simple, as you can see. There's the nose section, very Concorde-esque. Um, main underbelly there. And then some control surfaces. There's those bits that attach the wings. With the tips of the wings and here are the massive wing sections um, four pieces in here the wings need to be glued together in halves um, and I suggest some epoxy plastic card whatever because this it's quite a weighty model and I can imagine over time it would just crack and split without some um, extra support in the joints so I'll be doing a simple review of this kit, um, or simple build review, should I say, because you know, it is a very simple model. And when the Brendan kit arrives, the aftermarket, I'll do a review of that as well. Oh, I didn't mention the decals. 
Um, lovely decals, very glossy, um, very in register. You've got some um, stencil markings and stuff there, and as you can see, cartograph, so there's going to be nothing wrong with these going down at all. Okay, so uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and um, hope to see you soon with the start of this build. Goodbye.